Shalom, guys. I hope that you have enjoyed your day or are enjoying your day as uh, you are finding this video. Maybe you're taking a break from work. I'm not sure. But I hope that you are enjoying yourself uh, in the hour that you are finding this video. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it is an anniversary, happy anniversary to you. And um, if you're returning, welcome back, guys. I appreciate you. And those of you who are brand new, listen, I'm just myself on my channel. Uh, it's in the evening time here. And so I just, sometimes I just get on here any old way. I got my spandos on and uh, just, uh, you know, uh, got done relaxing for the Shabbat. And if you don't know what the Shabbat is, it is the Sabbath. I'm not Jewish or anything like that. I'm not churchy or religious either. Uh, but you can find out who I am by uh, why I use the name Yehovah Elohim on my readings. It's actually found... Uh, the Torah is found within the um, tarot. And so anyway, that, it'll just kind of show who I am and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, welcome if you do stay. I do feel the energy and sometimes it comes across really, really strong and uh, things like that. So just you've been warned. We look at everything here. Everything. And we don't hold back because uh, whatever needs to be fixed spiritually, morally, uh I don't care, naturally, and it's in our power to do that, then we will definitely uh, allow the great Elohim of the universe to judge us within that, whatever that is for us to have to fix. If we all do our part, uh, our world would be a better place. If we put a judgment on something really quick, our world would be a better place and uh, not be so uh, offensive with one another. And sometimes it's hard um, to take a correction. Uh, we've all been there, right? Um, but if we are not a fool, we will take it and we'll learn with it and grow with it, okay? And only a fool doesn't want to hear it, okay? And, and obviously, if you also know a fool and you try to correct a fool, it's going to get a blot to yourself as well. So uh, just always keep that in mind because a fool is a fool. They can't get out of the vomit. They'll always return to their folly, just like a dog does return to its vomit. So who that's for? Whatever that's coming in my spirit, it is. Um, so I did. I did a reading on my other channel, and somebody was finally uh, coming out of something. Uh, uh, it was the hermit that came out in the reverse, and that's somebody who's really gone within uh, and has analyzed something really deep uh, within a situation and is ready to come out and speak. And if you really, uh, you want to watch that video, that's down below. Somebody twice today. And one time I did not upload it, but the second time it came out on this video that I'm talking about, uh, somebody was being um, judged for uh, having sex with somebody's uncle or with their very own uncle. Now, I made reference to the spirit was bringing out some type of molestation situation, and somebody was really trying to heal from that because that stuff really messes with you. Okay, and I send you love and light if you've ever been, you know, molested or, you know, maybe you've molested somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to entirely. Um, I'm, I, you just never know. But anyway, there, there was uh, something that came through my spirit uh, right before I turned this camera on. Uh, two things. The first thing I heard over and over was infatuation. Somebody's infatuated with the situation. Uh, but if you're just infatuated in a negative way, and, and it, that, that, could, that could really go south for you. Okay, so wh whatever that's about, I just kept hearing the word infatuation. Uh, we have to be balanced within everything that we do in our thoughts and things like that. Second of all, I was reminded something that the Mashiach said. Now, if you're new, you don't know what the Mashiach is. It's Christ. And, and uh, in the New Testament, um, the great teacher of them all, talked about the commandments and it's the whole duty of man to keep the commandments right and he amplified those commandments people he amplified them and some people haven't done the actual act but they have in their mind in certain things some people haven't actually went out and murdered somebody but over and over in their mind they have and they're just as guilty christ said because he amplified those those laws okay and if you love the great divine uh, you won't even let your mind go there. But somebody has just over and over and over just been infatuated with some type of a thought in their mind that they have um, broken a moral law just within themselves as well. So whatever that has been, if it's been sexual, because, you know, 
and some people haven't actually laid down with somebody else's wife or spouse. And some people have, and some people have worked through that. And you have got given grace, just like He will give you grace. Those of you who haven't done the act, but inside you're just as guilty as somebody that had done it, and you point the finger at. Uh, I think a lot of people would be really shocked at if Jehovah said, "Well, let me show you this person's mind." what they think about <laughs> and uh well, let me see, show you what this person thinks about and open their mind to you and i think you'd be really shocked you and i uh that's why we must judge ourselves. okay the hermit is a great example of judging ourselves. that is a physician and it is somebody who goes in and analyzes the self and knows what to do and it's dangerous there if we don't put a judgment because he also represents a judgment because it's the tent in the hebrew and it's something filthy and dirty and it's the snake and the snake wants to take us down and store us in clay so that so that we won't get up and put a judgment and have a beautiful celebration day uh, really and so the, the 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 hermit is really somebody who analyzes but if you're not analyzing correctly and you're infatuated with some type of situation you can't let it go and you just have all your and wisdom and you're like the snake that snakes also con uh, connected to wisdom and you go that way and that's the way you go then you're gonna you're gonna be the one that gets judged in the, ultimately in the end but somebody uh has uh, really went within and tried to heal something and they're ready to speak about a situation that's just been going like this back and forth back and forth back and forth maybe even with a bunch of people because there's there was strife there um uh, but you know if if the most high was to say let me show you what's in this person's mind over here which is some people uh, what what came out was the tapestry and what was coming through my spirit is uh some people only want to show you one side of the tapestry uh the tapestry has guts on one side and beautiful on the other side some people show up and they, they show you both sides and say this is who i am take it or leave it i don't care i'm 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 whole within the hermit would represent somebody who's whole within as well uh if they're in the upright you know within whatever they're analyzing but if the tapestry is only being showed on one side uh, and you're only showing a uh, uh, beautiful side of things that really on the inside it is, I'm seeing that uh, the eight of swords card that I have where the person's looking in the mirror but uh, the, the part that they're looking in the mirror what they're seeing is somebody just all shriveled up and they're just in pieces uh, and then some people show up um, acting like they're just one way and ugly but really on the other side they're, they they they're just as sweet as could be but for whatever reason why people just show one side of things it's time to come out and to just be who you are and face the truth and when something does come that kind of wants to get in your mind and once you take that seed in people it will grow it will grow you know some some cutie comes along and gets you your little you know your hair raised on you because they're cute and you the next thing you know you, you can't every time they come around that you just think oh, they're so cute and that thing will grow especially if it's a violation to you in any kind of you know uh uh, situation that you find yourself in or that you're married or uh it, whatever your situation is okay um it, it'll grow and there will come a time where it will have to be plucked up or ch chopped away or something. And, and everybody will know. Uh, regardless if something's cut down or uh, plucked up, that portion of ground will be seen. Something will, will have happened to it. Uh, eventually, something does come up. People do see it. Well, is, it a, is it weed or is it weed? Uh, I don't know. Uh, whoever this is for, I did not know I was going to go here. <laughs> I really didn't. But... Um, the, the Mashiach was impressing on me and reminding me that a lot of people have already crossed the line morally just in their thoughts. There's a lot of murderers out there. Because they're murderers at their heart. They hate. There's a lot of adulterous people out there because they're in their mind thinking what it would be like to, my God, what would it be like if I spread your legs? Or, my God, what would it be like if I, did, if I sit on that? Or something like that. And, and that's, that's adultery. So, let me hate me. You guys can do what you want. This come through my spirit. This is who I am. If you are new, uh, I'm a teacher of uprightness. Okay? And uh, I, I haven't arrived. I've been down some of those roads myself. But Jehovah has made me come alive and teach from that place. And so should you. And it should also give you great joy that you could find grace as well. Uh, because we are in the judgment. If you're not going to judge yourself, well, then the, the divine will judge you. And then he will open up your mind and everybody will see what, you, what kind of nasty is in there. And what's really flowing out your heart. Okay? So whoever that's for, um, time to do your part. So thank you, Yolva.
good to find messages. Well, since I'm already almost 10 minutes into this, the most important thing, people, on my channel is that we just get the message that the Spirit wants to send us. We're trying to heal our land, okay? And um, that's all I care about. Jehovah's building this, these gates. He can add and take away as he pleases. Jehovah, what do you want to bring out here? The, the wand is here. And uh, this is a fresh new inspirational thought of something. Um, it's spiritual. It's also a conception of something. It's also handing the torch off and running with it. It's also a legal victory, an assured legal victory in the runes. It's passion here, and it is sexual as well. Uh, and if it's safe for you to love and to be with the person that you love, then enjoy that because it's a very pleasing energy coming out here. So we have a new conception of something. I'm also seeing a castle on a hill uh, in the background here of this car. Well, whatever that means. Maybe you live in a big house. Maybe something happened uh, for you in a big house. Actually, the, um, the branch here... <laughs> which is the Mashiach, by the way, in Scripture. His name would be The Branch, right? Uh, but this is an inheritance card. This also goes back to fortune within something. So there's fortune here. There's a mansion on a hilltop for somebody. There's a new... It is coming right out of heaven. It's the hand of the divine handing it. It's fire. Some people, you know, it's fire. It, it's turning your back on things and holding that branch in your hand and looking out on that lake of fire there and manifesting your ideas and uh, being whole again because fire purifies us. This is about the home. This is four wands here. This is about the home. Our home here first. This is trading new ideas. And this is a victory card, really it is. It's a very positive card to get. I'm seeing boats and yachts and, and castles on a hill. Somebody's a very good strategizer here as well. And they're very passionate at, the, at what they strategize here. And if it's in the upright, that's beautiful. Otherwise, there's, there is a lake fire here, people. <laughs> Given what Jehovah's been bringing out, we are in the flood, right? The fire flood is here. Um, so the eight of uh, pentacles came out on that other reading, and this is putting the work in on something. And it's positive. This is very um, prosperous energy coming out here. So the queen of pentacles is also here, and that is loving, caring, kind energy. Uh, she's holding a pentacle, so somebody was lonely. That's nine pentacles, which would still also take you down, back to the lower version of the empress herself. Um, somebody just been pouting and pouting and pouting and pouting. And here is something right out of heaven trying to be handed. Are you going to take it? I don't know. I mean, the queen of pentacles can be very stubborn in the negative. She's full of witchcraft in the negative. She's just a, somebody there was holding on with all that they had, but it came out in the reverse, that four pentacles that we often see uh, that I always make reference to, that it's like a sin of witchcraft, and it is. And I, I want to tell all that um, video, but I did explain that the letter uh, Samach in the Hebrew, which is the 15th letter, it's the Samach and or the sin, the name of that. That letter there it is the devil card it's piercing energy uh, it's a predator to you and I and the scripture says that stubbornness is as the sin or the smock as witchcraft it's witchcraft it's, it's a predator unto you in your own mind and it'll manifest itself out here and then it'll start going after everybody else as well if somebody has been holding on to a lot of stuff and somebody needs to put in the work and turn their back on something and have a fresh new start here because there's a lot of fortune here showing itself. Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please. Wow, there's a lot on the Queen of Pentacles that just came out. What what do you want to bring out here about this Queen of Pentacles? Thank you. Um, the So the, the temperance really was come out today. Um, it came out in another reading. This is a return. This is reconciliation. This is also fire. This is also two cups right out of heaven. Um, it's a letter noon. And um, it's a river. It's a prophet. It's being stretched out. It's truth. It's the husband. It's um, 
a new generation. I mean, we all obviously got pregnancy situations going on here. This is sexual energy, and this is the pictograph of the sperm in the Hebrew. But this is family. This heirs to kingdoms. This is children. It's also eternity, and we, we, we know that we've got death issues that have gone on. We've got a lot of fire showing up in this reading. So the eight of uh, wands is here as well. Fire, 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 fire. Um, This is a forgiveness. This is a forgiveness. Nova, you just pick. So this word came out in that other reading. Um, ropes and magnifying something. If we're talking uh, the ninth house, that is being stretched out. That is something large as well. And um, that's exciting. Expansion of something. So obviously, if there's been temperance issues and things, maybe with the husband or with some type of protection situation, and uh, somebody's exaggerated something where you know travel and communication has been um, an issue, then somebody has magnified something, or they're going to heal something and magnify the great one. That's great, but we've got ropes and things like that that's been involved, or ropes of deceit that people have been you know, uh, um, drawn in by, okay, we've got water energy here, or the angels got the feet in the water, or something happened, we know for a lot of you, by a body of water, uh, but you and I are made up of like 70% of water as well, so take the energy, at, it's, for some it's going to be energetic, some it's going to be physical, so like I said, um, we got a lot of murderers out there that haven't actually go and, gone and did it, but they're just guilty, because the divine state itself. And so we got elder here as well, and an authority and a power energy. This this will take us back to the yod energy, and that's the power in the arm that I spoke about today. Um, so we have a spell binding enchantment company or group here that came out last night when I began to speak, and uh, that the you know witchcraft energy, putting your intentions on somebody, uh, and then you know. Muttering things, and that's 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 it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. People are calling in demonic entities, and then causing good people to get up and have spiritual fighting uh, to 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 take that thing down. It's all spiritual energy here, all of it. It's fire. It's huge in communication, and then traveling within that on your journey or whatever the crap that's been for you. So, you know, somebody's had authority within some type of a company and or group, and there's been a spell-binding thing that's been there, uh, or, or somebody now has a higher mind to something, understand how to break something, and somebody else put some type of a spell, and they, they now understand, and they've sealed their self uh, by way of allowing Jehovah to be their shield, and go, I, I ain't putting no spells on me anymore. Uh, ain't no demons coming in this way, because I, I'm accepting the, the great one, and uh, now you're being able to put a shield around somebody. Because somebody has also... Uh, tried to put their intention on a husband, uh, and uh, that person had no right to do that. But they, but they've been trying to lure this person in. That's in a commitment. Whoever this for, I'm picking up in the spirit right here, right now. And uh, you need to understand that if your husband's had some type of blockage or something, he may have not even understood it because he may have openings somewhere on the inside of himself. But you're hearing about it, and you need to begin to pray over your husband and uh, and ask the divine to be his shield or to bring this bring this video to him. I don't know what you need to do, but you just need to listen to the great one and, and he'll he'll show you what to do. But some people put their intentions on um, people on purpose because they're they got familiar spirits and uh, they got traction and there's an infatuation somewhere and it's really spiritually gotten into the home. People it really has. And some people are wondering what's going on here and that's it's spiritual. It's all spiritual war going on here. Okay? And um, it's huge. So there's something precious here. There's an ornament here. Something happened around your holiday that it did. Okay. Uh, so extinguish energy here. Flame and consume and a quench. Look, people, let me just say right here, right now. We got fire here. And that's spiritual. And you quench the Holy Spirit, you're screwed. You're screwed. 
We're dealing with witches and warlocks and people who have signed their soul away and they're putting their attention on you and that's how they play. And uh, they have quenched the Holy Spirit and they're bastards. It's time for them to go away. It's time for people to wake up now and to fix your relationships or to, to, to do what you need to do. Some people are also... This is a horrible place to be, but some people, you always just say, there are some people that are in relationships where their partner has already sealed themselves. You really need to connect with the divine and let him lead you in that. I'm not going to advise you what to do, but you, you, you will know what to do. There's innocent energy here as well. Uh, somebody's had a desire to be like somebody. Um, again, th there, there's, th this, this goes back to acting like comparing okay I'm infatuated in the way you are I want to be like that and that's horrible why can't you just be the way that the most high has created you but some people have a void on the inside because they've never let the Holy Spirit fill them or they lost out their chance and that's why they're attacking or uh, because people have gone crazy and stuff like that but there's somebody out here that is um, trying to be like or they're in the state like or according to something that we had an imposter come out today on one of my readings so I will take two more cards uh, fashion needlework energy is here okay well I was just talking about the um, uh, tapestry and some beautiful tapestry you guys show both sides you guys show both sides the good the bad the ugly okay we have a widow here that's been bound in grief well, I send you love and light. I send you love and light. And, um, sucks. I understand what that feels like. I've been uh, bound in grief because of stupid people doing some stupid, crazy stuff. To me, the last three years, I get it. But Jehovah is your husband. Jehovah is the one that can heal you. Jehovah is the one that can feel you. If it's still possible for you. Uh, somebody, though, in some situation has literally quenched the Holy Spirit. That's dangerous. That puts it, that puts, that just makes me tremble on the inside. That just makes me tremble on the inside. What you and I do, people, is, um, that, you know, we're told, we often we talk about um, guarding the heart. Diligently guarding that heart is what we're told because issues, yellow is the word that goes to issues. Issues flow out of it. And people have gotten into a place where they've just meditated and meditated and done things and done things and sat there and sat there and I'm upset and I won't forgive. And, and issues now are just, they're just gushing out and they've just quenched the Holy Spirit by all this. The pus has, has just literally just caused the Holy Spirit to just go away from them. It's sad. It's real shit. That's why the flood's here, people. That's why the flood's here. If you take the word holy and run it the other direction, the phonics of, of yellow is there. And it is a heart issue, people. It's a heart issue. And if you don't allow the, the divine to come in and uh, um, circumcise that heart, uh, then there's, there's uh, who can know the heart? Because there's wickedness that can come out of it. And only Jehovah really can be the one who puts his word and writes it up on your heart so that those issues won't tear you all apart. So whoever this message is for, uh, I hope that it gets you uh, in a place where you can heal. Okay? Uh, those people who had, uh, you know, major words come across where you have to sit down with the divine and he's got to lead you out of something, then, then, you know, please take that advice and do exactly what he tells you to do. And be led forth in peace by doing it. And, and if you're not sure of something, you don't move until you are. Okay? All right, guys. Until next time. Shalom.